Well, it's cracking people. Angelic Mayhem here. Welcome to Today in Gaming, your source for all the news from the video game industry. Today is Monday, April the 1st, 2013. Here's everything that I could find on the web. Just as a reminder, as today is April Fool's Day, a day when everyone thinks they're funny, even when they are not. And thus the gaming industry thinks that issuing joke press releases is something that enhances its reputation. As such, please take everything I give you in this episode with a grain of salt. So let's begin. Today in gaming, Gamers Prey has a video trailer up on their YouTube page for a new game called The Last of Us for the PlayStation. It's a twist on a zombie survival game based around the fate of a teenage girl during a zombie apocalypse. The game comes out Friday, June the 14th, 2013. Today in Gaming, Joystick.com has a great article on their site about the financial statistics for the game Retro City Rampage, a modern-day 8-bit action game that launched in January of 2013. The game has sold 35,000 copies on the PlayStation Network, 40,000 on the PC, 15,000 on Xbox Live, and 2,000 on the Wii. The game is anticipated to top 100,000 units sold sometime this week. Today in gaming, here's a really cool piece of fan art that I thought was worth dreaming about. It's worth noting that this was posted on April Fool's Day. Today in gaming, this one's an April Fool's joke, but it shouldn't be. Football Manager is a best-selling soccer team management game that allows you to tweak the roster of a team you own to win championships. Sports Interactive, the makers of the game, announced, quote-unquote, that in celebration of the 125th anniversary of the founding of the English Football League, they will be releasing a new version of the game that is truly old school. Football Manager 1888 will take you back to the first Victorian era days of the league to give you a taste of what the sporting world was like before modern health care, when injuries ended careers and teams were disbanded when their starters were drafted into the army. The game will include all of the original rosters from each of the 12 original teams, Victorian era match rules, and a special steampunk-esque interface just to set the mood. Today in gaming, Fallen World is a free 3D tower defense game built in the Unity 3D engine. The object of the game is to protect a little girl from an army of robots. To do this, you need to set up a series of robots of your own around her protective force field to help you destroy incoming enemies. The game is a little buggy. I had a couple of instances where the guy didn't swing right away and some trouble setting up some of my robots. However, the concept is very unique and I think this one is worth checking out. Today in gaming, Paris-based developer Amplitude Studios has announced that they will be developing a new title exclusively for the Neo Geo X portable gaming device. Endless Space Wings of Freedom is a 2D horizontal shooter based in the world of their Endless Space franchise. Players can jump from planet to planet, system to system, unlocking the secrets of the Endless. The release of this spin-off is an opportunity for Amplitude to bring their franchise to new gamers who may not have experienced the original Endless Space, a turn-based 4X space sim released in July of 2012 on PC or Mac. No dates for this title have been announced yet, but I will keep you informed. Today in gaming, Kotaku has a great article up on the ethics of exploiting a database or marketing error by a company that results in a free copy of a video game through Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, or some similar avenue. It also makes reference to specifics, such as the Assassin's Creed 3 full download exploit and the error that allowed users of the new Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14 game to download $67 US worth of DLC at no cost. It's an interesting article on the ethical implications of mistakes in gaming and our relationship with the development companies that provide us with games. Today in gaming, Hunted Cow Game Studios, based out of Great Britain, is announcing Battle Dungeon Risen for iDevices. You and your band of Murray Fellows hire up to 30 dudes to fight on your behalf Travel through 12 dungeons using unique abilities from 9 subclasses to defeat your enemies. The game is currently available on the iTunes Store in an introductory sale of 33% off for £1.49. 
Today in gaming, Start Studios released a bug squishing game for the iPad. Fight your way through 40 levels to defeat the Queen Bug Boss. The game is $1.99 US. And finally, today in gaming, I found a brand new project on Indiegogo.com that was actually really cool. Uh, the idea behind the game is that there is an imbalance in the netherworld, and you have to fix it by crafting spells. The name of the game is Netherworld. The game creates a unique universe every time you play the game, so it will last you a while, and the game doesn't have one set way to beat it allowing you to use your creativity and skill to determine your own path to victory. This looks like a really cool game, and I encourage all of you to have a look and contribute if you think so too. Well, that's it for this episode. If you have a gaming-related piece of news, email me the press release link or whatever to angelicmayhem at yahoo.com. That's angelic with a K, and I'll add it to the queue. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button or subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily updates on the video game industry. That's it for today. Tune in next time for another exciting episode of Today in Gaming. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I'll see you later.